Hi, I'm Sharon and I'm a Christian. First of all, pardon me if I sound a little bit weird, I'm getting over a cold. Now, I'm an international student, I'm from South Africa and I study in the United States. And from the beginning, when it was decided that I was going to do that, I was so excited because all my life I'd always wanted to go over to the United States for an extended amount of time. And honestly, it's been a great privilege to be able to go over there and experience another country and another culture. But for all the good things, there's also been some more challenging times. Those times have helped me to see some scriptures that talk about being a foreigner in this world in a little bit clearer of a light. Let me explain. To begin the process, first of all, I had to apply to the school and there was paperwork and writing things and gathering documents. You know, it was all good though, because to me, it was leading me to my goal of getting there. When finally I got there, I was amazed by a lot of things. Some of the first thoughts that came to mind were, wow, it is so bright for being 8.30 at night. It looked like 3.30 in the afternoon. And the other thing was, these people must have it really good. They have no walls around their houses. But I also wondered how people knew whose gardens were whose. When I finally got to the school and found where I was supposed to be, I was in awe of the size of things and the actual American accents, hearing Southern accents for real for the first time as well. Very amusing in a good way. And in, in all that process of getting there, seeing food that is two or three times the size of what I normally have, seeing people driving on the other side of the road, all these kinds of things, it was, it all added to my euphoria of being there. Skip forward to orientation and they talked about different things that we would experience as new people, as new international students, and they talked about stages that we might go through, the honeymoon stage of being there, the getting used to everything stage, the resentment stage of asking why things were the way they were, and the acceptance stage of finally <laughs> accepting it. They talked about that happening over the period of the semester, but for me it felt like it happened over the period of my whole degree. And when they said the honeymoon stage would last for about a month or so, I thought, nope, mm -mm, it's going to be like this forever. And indeed it was like that for a long time. Now there were always subtle reminders that I wasn't at home, obviously. Things like people asking me about my accent, uh, people not understanding when I said things like trolley and petrol and boot or tomato sauce. Yeah, people thinking I'm from England. People asking me if I run around with lions. <laughs> but some of the bigger reminders are things like certain paperwork that I've got to keep up with that citizens don't normally have to do. Things like when my point of view will differ from that of an American citizen's because of where I'm from, uh, or where a lifestyle pattern that I have won't exactly match up with the majority of people's for the same reason. Anyway, over the time of my degree, I did start to experience those stages that they talked about at the international orientation. I got to a point where I knew people and people knew me and everything was a ball and I felt like I could navigate within that environment. But by the third year I did have more challenges. Homesickness was always a thing but it became harder that time and things being different at, at a point it starts to grate on you. Now I've been blessed to be able to come home for some of the longer holidays and I'm very grateful for that. But I started to realize something alongside the challenges of the third year. Home also started to feel different. The place that I grew up, I had to now relearn. You know, I'd come back and see if old friends that I'd had and how they've grown and changed and become different people. I'd make outdated references that would make my parents look at me like I was strange. And they would say, yeah, no, that changed quite a while ago, eh? Home itself was not quite home anymore, but certainly neither was the United States. This created a sense of displacement and a wondering in me of where do I belong? And that feeling, that wondering, it helped me in a way to appreciate some scriptures that talk about us as Christians being strangers and foreigners on this earth. 
that places like First Peter 2 11 and Hebrews 11 verse 13 because as a Christian there are lifestyle patterns that I adopt and I have that are different from what someone who's a native citizen of this world is. I once was a native citizen of this world but I'm not anymore. Now I am a citizen of heaven and my lifestyle, my speech patterns, things I say, things I do more and more, by God's grace, reflect where my real home is. There's a song by a singer named Buddy Green called I Don't Belong, a Sojourner's Song. And in times of homesickness, I'd often listen to that. And I think that's part of what helped me in the realization or the greater understanding of what it means to be a foreigner on this earth. He would sing about this lifestyle on earth and how it just didn't jive with his lifestyle, my lifestyle as a Christian. He'd sing about the differences and the peacefulness of our home in heaven. And I really enjoy that song alongside the greater understanding. I know that here isn't my home. I know that I'm going to be different in many ways. I know that I won't always be accepted. Some of the things I do will be looked down on. That's happened when I've gone over to the other country. And it happens now that I live here on this earth. But you know how they say that home is where the heart is? I'm glad my home is in heaven. It makes me think of Philippians 3 verse 20 where it says that our citizenship is in heaven from where we also eagerly await our Saviour, Jesus Christ. I can't wait to be with him, whether through the rapture or if I grow old and die. But while I wait, I want to live like a citizen of heaven. And I thank God for the Bible <laughs> to guide me and the Holy Spirit also inside me to help me to understand the things I'm supposed to be doing and grow because without that um, I would be such a failure. I can't do anything right on my own and everything I have done right is it's been with the help of the Holy Spirit and I thank God. I'm thankful for my home in heaven and I look forward to being there. Unlike South Africa which has been my lovely home on earth, I'll never have to leave there once I get there and that's going to be fantastic. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. See you next time.